Hey, you wanted to know how I got the guitar and bass into the back of the Elisa Strike multi-pad, so I just wanted to walk you through the signal path. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, right here you see the red and the white. Those are my outputs. They're going to my stereo system that is behind me, uh, which I'll turn on in a moment. Uh, t regular guitar TRS cables going to the back, which is coming out of my guitar and my bass. So here you see the audio in here. I got a left and a right, and the dial here is the input gain for those. So if you plug your instrument into the left channel, that'll be your mono signal, and that will split the signal to all of your speakers. If you plug an additional second instrument into the right side, it'll split the signal. So it'll put my bass into the right side, and it'll put my guitar into the left side. If you go right into the right side, nothing will happen. Maybe that is the issue you've been having. you got to use the left side, so I'll plug my guitar into the left first. And I'm going to plug my bass into the right. Let me get it oriented this way so I can play it. Now I'll turn my system on. I have my headphones coming out of the front. And that is going to give me a click track that I can hear and you can't, which is kind of nice. But right away you can hear the guitar is live. This is the home screen of the Alesis. This is what it looks like when you turn it on. And uh, there's no settings that you have to do to get it in there. It's it's pretty nice in that respect. So pick up I it's a guitar pedal. More or less. Big old fancy guitar pedal. So it's got a click track. Two, three, four. So you want to hit the start dub if you don't have that enabled and then you can get a second pass with whatever instrument you want. Get a little bass line going. It's still dubbing so I can start adding my drums. But you can see just how easy it is to get going um, with the Elisa Strike multi pad as a guitar pedal, uh, looping pedal, more or less. You know, any instrument. Plug a keyboard into it, plug your mixer into the back of it as well. I've done with all of my instruments going into the back of the mixer. It works great that way. You can route the audio out straight into your you know, interface. If you've got one of these laying around, you can go right in and go right into your computer. So it's pretty cool. Any more questions? Let me know.